Hello kittens and if you're new to the channel I'm Miss Kelly T and my subscribers are kittens. Um, if you are new to the channel please do click that subscribe button. It only takes a second. Today I will be doing a Q&A because I have started a new series on the channel where I do a interactive video every Friday so if you want to be part of that please do click down below and follow me on all that social media stuff um, because I do use that social media stuff to ask questions and get you guys to vote on stuff that's going on in the videos so with all that said today is a question answer video so if you want to see what questions were asked and what my answers are please stay tuned Okay, kittens. Um, they were not many questions asked, but I kind of like that. That means I have um, more freedom to ask or answer questions. Answer questions a a longer version of the answer. Still have to compile it, so. <laughs> I will probably be running um, down some cat alleys today uh, with the answers of these questions. Um, so without further ado, let's get the glasses going and read some questions. And I will be putting the question down below. Um, and if I remember, I will also link the lovely kittens that ask questions channels down below so please do go hashtag miss kelly raid their channels um without further ado let's see if we can get these questions pulled up um who knew um it says okay this first question is from Mutt Nuts Reviews, a very big kitten kiss to you, and I know you are sending puppy dog hugs to me. Um, inside joke, guys. Inside joke. But anyway, um, it says, what made you des decide to start YouTube or YouTube channel? Um, actually... Um, I watched YouTube for about two years um, before I actually decided to do a channel. Um, my channel was going to totally be a totally different kind of channel than it turned out to be. Um, I watched Bunny Meyer, was like the big YouTuber I watched a lot. Um, and it was back when she used to do a lot of car blogs. And I really wanted to be like Bunny Meyer at first. Um, I also watched a lot of Dollar Tree haulers and freebie haulers and thought, well, I could mix that in with vlogs. Um, and my very, very, very first video was actually a deep thought like video. Um, I think it may still be on the channel. I'm not sure if I took it down where someone told me that I was um, too old <laughs> it was like a teenager at church told me that um, I was too old to be cool anymore and I kind of pondered that question and it was like the weirdest video I think I've ever done on YouTube but uh, yeah that was my first video my second video was a freebie haul and then my third video was Dollar Tree hauls and for a long time Dollar Tree hauls and freebie hauls were the only thing I done and then I stumbled upon Shane Dawson and Trisha Paytas videos and then Trisha started doing all of the mukbangs and um, Shane was going through his taste test 
weird taste test phase with Lisa Bug and so I started kind of doing taste tests with my husband and mukbangs every so often and that's where that kind of evolved um, then I got into Joey's Graceffa and that and Miranda Sings and that's where the vlogging came in so there were a lot of influences that were bigger YouTuber influences in my career on YouTube if you want to call it that and also I've always been a very shy very timid person and never really spoke um, out of turn or really let people know what I thought unless I really 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 know you and uh, then I open up so much you want me to shut up but anyway uh, YouTube has just kind of been a way of me to make friends and to be able to be comfortable in my own skin now um, it went from being like this can be like a career to more it's a social thing for me now and I really enjoy meeting you guys and hearing your stories and just learning about you guys and you get to learn through me me through this channel so it's just I love seeing my community get bigger and you guys really opening up to me you that do talk to me and kind of email me or some of you actually send me cards and letters and I just like that interaction so thank you all kittens for being my friend so I know big cat alley prowl there but that is kind of the longer version of the answer to that question okay question from Lena Harris I think I'm pronouncing your last name right. And it says, number the number one thing she asked is dream vacation. Okay, they are several places I would love to go someday. Um, but they are like four places I've always wanted to go to from my earliest memory. <laughs> well, number one. And most of you will probably think this is like totally silly for a 41 year old person to want but I've always wanted to go to Disneyland um, I never have been to Disneyland I know a lot of you probably think that's silly that I've never been to Disneyland but I have never been to Disneyland and I've always wanted to go to Disneyland number two um, I've always wanted to go to New York and do all the touristy things but I also always wanted to go on my actual birthday which is New Year's or around my actual birthday we always always wanted to go to Times Square and watch the ball drop um, live and uh, a lot of people told me I'm crazy because I could get mugged or hurt or something but I've always kind of wanted to do that um, that I used to write goals for me and my journal which I got out of doing but I can get a journal from when I was a tween and it has that is the number one thing I want is to go watch the ball drop in New York City and do like touristy things like going to the uh, Statue of Liberty and um, watch a Broadway show and stuff like that so that's kind of been one of my big dream vacation things um, number three I've always wanted to go to Ireland uh, I may be because I do have Irish in my bloodline I don't know but I've always had this just overwhelming want to go to Ireland and to see all the like touristy our stuff uh, and the last one would be I always wanted to go to Japan and go to all those big 
over the top things you see YouTubers go to, um, like the kitty bar and uh, all the shops that they show on you when YouTubers do go over there. Um, and I've always wanted to go to the Hello Kitty store over there for some reason. So that would be like another dream vacation. I don't know if those things will ever happen, but those are like my dream, like ultimate dream vacations. Um, number two of her va her questions is favorite childhood memory. Okay, one of my absolute favorite childhood memories is with my grandma that has passed away. Um, I had a grandma that lived right next door to me as a child and I stayed at her house more than I did mine. Um, she taught me how to cook when my mom didn't want me to because um, she told me she thought I was way too young to learn to cook um, and she taught me how to do things the old-fashioned way and doing little crafts and stuff like that with her were like some of my most precious childhood memories. Um, she taught me to quilt. Um, she taught me to cook. Um, she taught me like survival things out in the woods. Me and her used to do morning walks and she would go in the woods and show me like what uh, plants you could eat and uh, trees you could turn into toothbrushes if you needed to and stuff like that. Um, I've long since forgot all that stuff because I was a child and memory is a funny thing but I do cherish those memories of her trying to teach me how to survive if it was needed. Um, I also garden with her during the summer and uh, she learned me to can and make preserves and all that kind of stuff and um, those are some of my very most favorite um, childhood memories and a lot of people don't know how to do that old-fashioned stuff because those are getting to be lost arts in our world today so I very much miss her very much she gave me a lot of sound advice when I was a teenager and um, most of my most precious memories are of her as a child um, number three of her questions is favorite song um, that changes by weekly actually it's this corner on what mood I'm in. Right now, um, I'm really liking um, the Chain Breaker song. And there's several people that sang it. I don't remember who the original singer is. But um, when I'm having a really hard day and I want to do like Bible study when I do. When I do go in like a lot of depression, I do Bible studies. And I will listen to uh, Chain Breaker. And I don't remember the artist. I'm I'm drawing a blank right now because I am old. Um, I will listen to a lot of DC Talk. A lot of um, Michael Combs, Caney Family, and stuff like that um, to get me out of that mode. Um, but if I'm doing like workout stuff. Um, sometimes I will do secular music when I do workouts and then I will listen to like um, one of my very favorite secular songs is uh, um, actually Africa from Toto um, I've always kind of had a soft spot for that song and I like the new version that Weird Al and Weezer done so I kind of go back and forth to the, those um, versions of that song. And here recently I've started listening to a lot of Dolly Parton um, since watching Dumpling. So those are kind of what kind of music I'm listening to right now. So I hope that helps with or answers that question. Um, and then I've got to get to the last. This will not let me click over, so I've got to guess from St 
Daphne Clayton, and I will try to remember to link all these lovely kittens down below. So please do go and hashtag Miss Kelly Raid their channels. Okay, it says, what store do you like besides Dollar Trees, or what stores do you like besides Dollar Tree? Okay, Dollar Tree is like my ultimate favorite store because it is so cheap. Um, if I had one um, still in my area, I would absolutely love to go back to a family dollar store. Um, there's not one in my area anymore. The one that was in my area in Russellville closed down. Um, and I know technically that is still Dollar Tree. Jondra, the Dollar Tree Corporation owns the Family Dollar. But Family Dollar Store was like my go-to place um, back when they had one in Russellville to get like almost all of my Christmas stuff because they had like a lot of decor stuff like pictures and stuff that were like religious and I used to always try to get a religious um, saying or something on a pay on a picture when I got any woman a gift um, now um, if it's stores, I would love to be able to have the money to go to and just buy whatever I wanted to. It would be Bath and Body Works. I love Bath and Body Works. I just don't have the money to splurge in there like I would like to. Um, Hobby Lobby would be another one. I would just love to be able to buy whatever I wanted in there. Um, and I would love to be able to go to Catherine's Clothing. Uh, and just buy whatever outfit I could find in there, but money-wise, I can't do that. I can window shop those places, uh, but I can't buy at those places because they're just too expensive for me um, in my present financial state. But if you do online shopping, um, I totally love doing shopping on Amazon. Um, Amazon is like my go-to place when I'm trying to look for something and can't find it in a regular store. Um, and Miss A, I know a lot of you um, have totally done Miss A hauls. I love Miss Hayes A um, shop so much. Uh, and I don't do hauls from there. Um, I have done a couple hauls and I think they're still on the channel but um, I've just not shopped there in a while but I do love their jewelry I've never tried their makeup and I always wanted to um, I just haven't had the money to, to try that yet um, but anyway that would be like my all two stores um, also this is not technically a store store um, we do have a local comic book store um, that I would love to be able to go to and just buy whatever I wanted in there um, as a kid and a teenager it used to be in the mall and it was a lot easier to get to then um, and as a teenager I used to go to the comic book store and just stay in there all day long um, I used to save my um, allowance up to be able to buy comic books and I used to have like this whole like most guys have baseball cards I had a whole booklet of comic book cards and I even had some that were laminated and some that were in plaques um, I had all the X-Men in them um, because it was mostly Marvel characters you could get in the card form I don't remember having any DC characters in the card form, but I did have a lot of actual DC comic books. I done more Marvel cards and DC comic books. Um, I had like all of the Batman series um, comics from the 90s and so when my mom and dad's house caught on fire all of that burnt so that was kind of dramatic a little bit for me um to lose all of that
but it was even more traumatic because it was my mom and dad's house and all of our mm, memories burnt well not really our memories but all of our pictures and all that kind of stuff that were helping us remember our memories did just go up in smoke with that fire but um, God has blessed us and has given us all that and more back so it's all good and <laughs> and I will digress on this cat prowl um, but anyway that was the questions that came in um, this time for the Q&A remember if you do have questions for the next time please do comment them down below um, if you have any suggestions on interactive videos that I could do and you guys can vote on please also leave those ideas down below I will totally give you credit if I use your idea and um, as always if you are new to this channel please do click that big red button it only takes a second to become a kitten today and become part of the litter because we always have room for a new kitten in the litter and I will see you all in the next video please be kind to one another and enjoy your day don't just endure your day I love you all very very much and I will see you in the next video bye bye a breath need to get all of these deep thoughts out my head yeah i just want to be known i just want to be home feel like i'm all alone and i need to do it on my own i just want to be known i just want to be home feel like i'm all alone and i need to do it on my own yeah